What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the feature collaboration with Saucony on the Shadow 6000 in the chocolate chip colorway. Today's video was sponsored by the good people from Heffalux. Heffalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find from Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heffalux for years now, and to me I find them really really comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is a collaboration between Las Vegas based boutique feature with Saucony. Officially, this is the last pair in their high roller pack, which consists of four different shoes starting back from 2014. So this one released on Saucony's website on January 29th, and then there was a wider release in early February. They retailed for 140 US dollars or 180 Canadian dollars, and the colorway for this shoe is brandy and pink. So the overall inspiration behind this shoe, obviously with Feature having ties to Las Vegas, this specific pair is inspired by Retro Vegas, specifically the Retro $5,000 chip. So I initially thought that this was inspired by the food chocolate chip, but no, we're talking strictly about gambling and casinos. So first off, here's a quick look at the box. This comes in a special edition box which has a really retro Vegas feel to it. So it's predominantly constructed out of this brown colored finish, and we have Saucony and Feature co-branding on the top done in this metallic gold foil. And then we have accents of green throughout, giving it a very, very retro vibe, which I love. As for the shoes themselves, so my first impression was that there's a ton of different materials used on this pair, which I thought was really nice. As we take a look at the toe box, the base layer here is constructed out of a brown colored mesh. We have this hit of patent leather right above this in the middle, and surrounding the front toe cap, we have this brown colored suede. And embroidered on the lateral side, we have the Saucony logo done in this green colored finish. Moving downwards, we have this hit of white colored patent leather, and above this covering the eyelets, we have more of that brown colored suede. The top two eyelets are done in this cream colored TPU, and then underneath this, we have this faux pony hair, and the Saucony stripe is constructed out of this burgundy colored leather, with a secondary layer of pink underneath, and the three circular punch outs in the middle is filled with this green colored velvet. On the bottom covering the mid panel, we have this dark brown colored suede, and if I flip the shoe over to the medial side, you'll see printed on this suede, we have the phrase lucky you in pink. And right next to this, we have this hit of brown colored mesh once again. Wrapping around the bottom of the heel, we have more of that light brown colored suede, and then above this we have this brown colored leather, which has this cutout in the middle revealing this pink colored velvet. And underneath this we have Saucony embroidered in green. And surrounding the top of the heel, we have this extra long haired suede done in this brown colored finish. For the laces, so these come with three different lace options. So the default standard lace is done in this pink finish, with hits of silver intertwined throughout. We have these green lace tips with featured branding which is a nice added touch, but if you're not feeling these laces, they also give you two extra lace options as well. So we have this pink lace done in this cotton finish, along with a waxed green pair as well. Underneath this, the majority of the tongue is covered in this long haired fuzzy suede. We have this very soft leather patch on the top, and debossed within it we have the $5,000 chip with feature branding. And surrounding the outer edge of the tongue we have this hit of pink. As for the insoles, so these come with these custom insoles as well, and it incorporates that same poker chip graphic that we saw earlier in the tongue, running from heel to toe. So the upper of the Shadow 6000 sits atop this foam midsole, which is painted in this cream or vintage looking finish, with speckling of paint covering the upper. And on the lateral side we have Saucony branding on the midsole itself. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is done in this dark brown colored finish on the forefoot, and gum rubber on the heel. We have this triangular shaped traction pattern on the forefoot, and Saucony branding in the middle. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these feature Saucony Shadow 6000s. And for those wondering about sizing, so I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and normally for recent Shadow 6000s, I've had to go up a half size to a 10 and a half. But comparing this one to, for example, the Food Fight 6000s or the Megabyte Shadow 6000s, I felt like this specific pair ran a little bit more true to size. So getting these in a size 10, they fit me well in a nice snug way. But if you have really, really wide feet, you probably still want to go up a half size. But I feel like if you have narrow, normal, or even slightly wide feet, true to size for this specific pair should be okay. Next up for comfort, so this is a shoe from the early 90s. So the technology is pretty outdated, however, for just an everyday casual use shoe, I personally find the Shadow 6000 is decently comfortable. You can feel a decent amount of cushioning and responsiveness underfoot, and while I wouldn't necessarily say it's the most comfortable shoe in my collection, it's definitely above average. 
And finally, from an overall quality and craftsmanship standpoint, if you guys are fans of Saucony shoes, specifically their original line, you probably know that the quality on their pairs are usually very, very nice. And this one being a collaboration, it's no surprise that the quality was top notch. All the materials felt super premium, super high quality, and similarly from an overall build and craftsmanship standpoint, I honestly had no issues at all with my pair. It was pretty much flawless from start to end. So for the price point you're paying, especially when you compare it to shoes from other major brands, Saucony usually comes near the top of the list in terms of value for dollar. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. In terms of executing the theme that they were going for, I think Feature and Saucony absolutely knocked this one out of the park. This really has that retro Vegas feel to it. And while personally, I wouldn't say that it's my favorite colorway out there, I don't think you can deny that they executed that idea really, really well. To me, I just find that it's a little bit more of a tough colorway to pull off. And this is just my personal opinion, but it almost seems like this is a nicer shoe to put on a shelf than on your feet. But your mileage may vary. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this feature in Saucony Shadow 6000 chocolate chip. What are your overall thoughts on this collaboration? And for those of you guys watching, did you guys pick these up for retail? Did you pass or take an L? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram page at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.